All right, guys. I, uh, I've been asked by a few different people to uh, put together a little something that's in my backpack when I go shed hunting. So uh, this year, I'm going to be filming every antler, every time that I find this year is going to be uh, recorded. And uh, hopefully it all turns out pretty good. Maybe I can put something together uh, later on in the spring. But uh, tomorrow morning is going to start my shed season. It's the 26th of January right now. So um, just out here right now in my in my shop, just getting things ready, putting a pack together for uh, tomorrow to start walking. So uh, just a few things that, that I have in my pack. I think one of the most important things, all my things are important, but... Um, a pair of leather gloves, uh, two pairs. When it's colder, I'll go with a little bit thicker pair, and a little bit. You can see these ones been used quite a bit. A pair of thinner paired ones. Uh, I like the thicker ones a little bit better, but the only thing about it is they get hot because those are those are actually insulated. They get hot when it starts to get a little bit warmer in a, in a few weeks. These ones are great. They're they're good for. Uh, been able to get on my binoculars and turn the uh, focus in on the binoculars. That's a, a strong point in a pair of gloves. But where I go shed hunting, there is thorns on thorns on thorns. So uh, it's real important to have a pair of gloves to be able just to grab thorns and just break them out of the way and pull them out of the way. Uh, probably the most important thing as far as your, your body is just a good pair of Carhartt bibs. You know what I mean? Uh, Carhartt bibs. These are actually insulated ones. They got a few miles on them. I've uh, I've walked quite a few miles in these, and I found almost every pair, every shed I have just about in these these bibs right here. But bibs again for the thorns, for everything. It uh, it just keeps everything down. Carhartt's a little bit noisy, which we don't really care about as far as shedding. We're, if we spook deer, we spook deer. I do like to be a little bit stealthy when I'm shed hunting. We'll go over that later on as a, as the season goes on, especially early in the season, because I don't want to bump deer as much, you know, as uh, this early in the season, because there's a lot of them that are still holding. Uh, binoculars, you gotta have a pair of binoculars. These right here are gonna save your legs. Um, these save me a lot of walking. Every little tine, every little thing that I see. I can just pull these a good pair of binoculars out, and uh, these are Hawk Frontiers. They're probably you know 250, 280 dollar pair of binoculars. I think I got them a little bit cheaper than that, but uh, a good pair of 10 by 42s. A lot of guys say that's way too much, but it's really not because with a good pair of 10 by 42s, they got a, a wide enough thing I can pull up when I'm walking early in the mornings and later in the afternoons. I draw in a little bit of light. I get a little bit of light from them. In the darker areas, I can draw in a little bit more light. And just the ability to be able to blow through brush and everything that's in the way. When I see a tine sticking up, a white tine sticking up, or, or a main beam or a burr, you know, I, I can focus right through. I can push right through, uh, you know, things that are in the way, brush and, and sticks and, and limbs and everything. So a good pair of binoculars is a necessity. Um, need to have for your uh, protection of your eyes and just to knock down any bit of glare that you possibly have is a good pair of sunglasses. I wear a pair of polarized fishing glasses actually. Um, it protects my eyes from all those thorns, those sticks. You know, you're, you're going through and a lot of times you're getting down on your hands and knees and you're crawling th through things. Uh, sunglasses are going to protect your eyes. They're going to also keep the glare down on those, on those, uh, in those areas where there's going to be sun shining through and whatnot. You don't have to go with, with black. There, there's brown ones out there. There's just safety glasses in themselves will help out a lot too. And some of them have a little bit of, of UV protection in your uh, regular safety glasses that you'd, you'd have at work. So uh, some of the necessities, like I said, a good pair of boots. Um, here in South Jersey where I do most of my shed hunting, we need rubber boots here. Everything is wet. It's frozen. You know, if you got a spot that's that's not just a good pair of leather boots then. The most comfortable boots you can wear to me are actually a good pair of leather boots but I don't have the the, uh, the area you know the, the good the spots that are high and dry my spots are all wet and um, these are some of the things and just a good pack um, other things I'm gonna have in there I'm gonna probably have some uh, toilet paper 
for, for certain things. <laughs> we all know what the, those things are. Um, I'm going to have water in there. I'm diabetic, so i got to have some, some carbohydrate snacks, some apples, granola bars, things like that. Things that make that, that, that day be able to, uh, you know, make yourself as comfortable and not have to get back to the house for anything. You know, if, if you get in those two, three, four hours to be able to go walk on a Saturday morning or a, you know, a day that you don't have to be in the work till late or something and you have a couple hours to get out there and shed hunt, make it as comfortable as you can. You know, go out there and enjoy it and uh, pick your spots. Another good thing, possibly, I don't really do it as much. I come back and I'll, I'll go over my maps, is carry some maps. You know, study your maps before you go out there and say, these are the areas I want to go looking at. Um, mark off when you do find sheds. I do that a lot because those areas, I got so many areas that I find sets, I find singles, I find uh, just numerous amounts of sheds in one little area every year. And those are places you take your grave with. Let's see what we can do. Let's have some fun with shed hunting. Get out there and find the bone, guys. Go out there and find those tines. I'll go over a few things later on as the season goes on, on you know, uh, ways to train yourself in being able to pick those tines up. All right?